Goe, goe, shouts, chants, and cheering all over. I had her down to the ground, tight, crying painfully. I was ready to take her life and walk out there like a warrior. She deserved it for calling me names and abuses because of my background and societal disclaimer of stigma. Had red hot eyes were the glowing pictures it showed me growing up. I wonder, did they even care who I was? Was I ever visible? Or was I just a curse and a taboo existing from a family infected and affected by HIV? A child barely knowing why it feels, I feel that it was not right to be treated so badly. Societal stigma as they constantly pushed us away and segregated us was tough. Like hard choking saliva, the pain was too much for me to bear, and the only way to get it out was through fights. Growing up, I had to fight to belong, and I fought harder than my veins could take it. Fighting against the pain of segregation and being treated like an outcast. Yes, through the battle there were excited moments when eventually they noticed my existence and named me after a famous female boxer, Congestina, a reputation I carry till date. My language growing up was that of war, a battle that I had to win regardless, so as to be accepted or at least respected by my peers. I never lived or liked the violence, but it felt good winning. What was I to do with all this pain? Was I to hide, run away and let them share a lot of how miserable my life and family was? Or was I to stand strong and tall like a tsunami and make an unforgettable damage? Now, at 23, I still feel hatred of segregation as if it were only yesterday. Through a personal development program I came across, I learned how to channel my fighting power into something positive and productive. Though I want to say thank you for building a strong, unstoppable woman in me. Thank you for helping me not dry my tears in my heart, but rather letting it out on others through a fist. Because that small needle of rejection turned me into a warrior beast, fighting for what is right just and true. Now I advocate for society free of stigma and discrimination, a world free of injustices against women and people living with HIV, a place of love and acceptance. I'm making a promise in front of a mirror to never grow old and push other for those who went through similar or different struggles like mine. It was me back then. Maybe just maybe it will be you or your child.